Oh, you can make an argument Dempsey and Martins has been the best attacking duo in the league, but we've seen the Sounder offense struggle at times this year. Now, those struggles have happened because Seattle likes to play very, very narrow, which can make the team very easy for opponents to defend. Let me show you what I mean. Now, this is Seattle's basic lineup here. You've got the 4-4-2, Martins, Dempsey up top, uh, Papa and Nagel on the wings. The problem is these wingers, they like to play centrally. They like to pinch in and get into the attack, and that leaves this. So what you get is in possession, you have this group of four players up at the top. You see how narrow that makes the formation. And you, uh, the only way to get width when that happened is if you have Yedlin and uh, Evans on the other side or whoever's playing left back to move forward. And DeAndre can provide some of that, but he's not a consistently good enough crosser yet to be dangerous from those wide areas. So what you end up with is what we saw in the loss against Dallas and early on in the Chivas game. Teams can clog the middle of the field, make it almost impossible for the Sounders to play through the center with these four players like they like to do, and they haven't shown enough of a willingness to exploit those wide areas that teams are giving them when they play so narrowly. Here it is in the Chivas game. We're going to go ahead and take a look. Uh, this is actually the Sounders' fourth goal, but what I want you to see, we're going to freeze it here, and look how many Chivas players are in the frame. There's eight different Chivas defenders, and look where the Seattle attackers are. You've got Dempsey up at the top. You've got uh, Papa here in the middle. You've got Obafemi Martins in the middle, Lamar Nagel in the middle. Now, Yedlin down here is providing some width, but he, they're not even looking to him. And what's going to happen here, Dempsey, Martins, Papa, they have enough technical skill to play through defenses that are as bad as Chivas, but against better teams, against L.A., against Dallas, against those types of teams in the playoff, you're not going to get those kind of opportunities. Now, Seattle is deadly in transition. We saw that in the game here. Obafemi Martins with the space opening up was able to score, but they're just, it, the team, if they're sitting back so far, those transition opportunities aren't there either, and it's just gonna make it so hard for the Sounders to play and to generate the offense. They've got to be better in wide areas. That's something I think Siggy Schmidt has to fix going forward into the playoffs.